वेलकम टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन ई प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ एस टीवी लास्ट फ्यू क्लासेस विच आर रिलेटेड टू फिजिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड वी डिस्कस मैनी टॉपिक्स पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस करंट इलेक्ट्रिक अप्लायसेज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अस्टर सीरीज एंड पैरेंटल आई होप यू आर टेकिंग एंड ज्वाइन विथ ई क्लासेस so now in this class we will discuss about the difference between series and parallel combination and we will do some numericals which are related to series and parallel combination so first we will differentiate between series and parallel combination in series combination in series combination parallel combination the first point of series the equivalent resistance is always the sum of individual resistors such as r equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 up to r similarly in parallel combination of resistances is 1 upon r equals to the sum of in reciprocal of individual resistor sum of reciprocal of individual resistor so 1 upon r equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 up to 1 upon r1 this is also the formula of series and parallel combination the second one in series combination the amount of current remain same because in series combination the resistors are connected end to end so i that means current remain constant we can say remain same through all the resistor similarly in parallel combination the amount of current is different in different resistor because the resistances are connected with common end so the amount of current is divided into i1 i2 and i3 so the amount of current is different in different resistors third point potential difference is different in series combination potential difference that means we can use v potential difference v so v is different in series combination but in parallel combination the potential difference is remain same in different resistors the fourth point of series combination it is not used in household wiring so we will discuss why the parallel combination is used in household wiring it is used in household wiring so the topic is household wiring that means in our house and building in any specific we use parallel combination in our house if i ask why parallel combination is used in our house so there are following points we can give the answer first point because you can understand by these following points also help in the right to write the answer first in parallel combination because the amount of current is different in different resistor such as in our house different electrical appliances are used such as refrigerator fan electric motor and many more they have different resistance so they all are required to different amount of current that's why in household wire should be parallel second point in parallel because they all are connected with common end so if one gap fuse one gap fuse one gap damage remaining all electrical appliances can be working properly third point in parallel combination 
because the resistances are different so each and every electrical appliance is required a different amount of current but consider if imagine if you connect all the electrical appliances in series combination that what happened if you think what happened if you all the electrical appliances in your house they all are connected in series series which means when the electrical appliances are connected to and to and students we cannot use this one we can use parallel combination suppose if you connected all the electrical appliances in series then what happen in series if one electrical appliance is get fused that remaining no one can work properly okay second point because they all are connected to series combination so they do not require the different amount of current because in series combination the amount of current remain same and we knew that different electrical appliances are require different resistance so how it can be possible that an household wiring can use a parallel we can use parallel combination we can't use series combination students now we take some numericals of series and parallel combination first we take an example of series combination suppose there is a question calculate the total resistance and potential difference to each resistor in given diagram in this diagram there are three resistor they are connected to end to end so this is in series combination 6 ohm 6 ohm and 6 ohm so we can write this is an r1 r2 and r3 so r1 r2 r3 connected to n to n so this is a series combination you can also find from the diagram help of it diagram with a cell the potential difference of this cell is 36 volt volt is a unit of potential difference so we can find the potential difference but question was to find the equivalent resistance or total resistance total resistance and potential difference to each resistor that means we will calculate v1 v2 and v3 so first step we can write in this form r1 equals to 6 ohm r2 6 ohm you can also write ohm this is a symbol of ohm this is a unit of resistance we already knew and r3 equals to 6 ohm now potential difference is 36 volt students be careful about when you are doing some numerical it is compulsory to write their units otherwise teacher can deduct your mark so it should be written by you whenever you are doing some numericals it is compulsory okay now what we do first in any series or parallel combination first we calculate equivalent resistance then the equivalent resistance equals to r and we knew the formula r equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 up to Rn. We require only R3. Okay. Put the values of R1, R2, and R3. Six plus six plus six. That means 18 ohm. So R equals to 18 ohm. That become it is an equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance 18 ohm. Now. find the potential difference to each resistor okay but first we will calculate the amount of current i second through ohm's law v equals to 
I R. So I equals to V upon R. V equals to thirty six. Now students R. This is not R one, R two, R three. This is equivalent resistance. So you can use eighteen ohm. And what is the answer? Two ampere. Ampere is the unit of current. Okay. Now the two ampere current. Eighteen to the thirty six. Third part. Calculate the potential difference across the each resistor. What we do? Now V equals to I R one. V one equals to I R one. Similarly, V two equals to I R two and V three equals to I R three. So put the values. I two ampere multiply by R one six. Okay. So what is the answer? Twelve. Again two into six twelve. Two into six twelve volt. And we will check the answer if the sum of individual potential difference, such as V1, V2, V3, is equal to the total potential difference. Then this is the right answer. So this is the way when you solve the answer of any question when the resistor are connected in series combination. Now we will take another example of parallel combination. Parallel. Suppose this is a question. There are three resistors, three ohm, six ohm, and twelve ohm are connected to common, and that means this is a parallel combination. Now twelve meter and battery of six T volt. Okay. Find the potential difference and amount of current through each resistor. Again, we will do in the same manner. First, R one equals to three ohm. R two equals to six ohm. R three equals to twelve ohm. And potential difference, total potential difference, sixty volt. First, students, we will calculate the equivalent resistance. So, equivalent resistance for parallel combination, we knew that one upon R equals to One upon R one plus one upon R two plus one upon R three. Okay. Put the values. One upon three plus one upon six plus one upon twelve. What is the LCM? Now the LCM of three, six, twelve becomes twelve. Three four the twelve. Six two the twelve. Twelve one zero twelve. So seven upon twelve. One upon R equals to seven upon twelve. So R equals to reciprocal of seven upon twelve. Twelve upon seven. This is the equivalent resistance of parallel combination. Now find the value of I one, I two, I three by Ohm's law. We knew that V equals to I R. Similarly, I equals to V upon R V sixty. So first, we will calculate I. Then V equals to sixty and R twelve multiplied by seven. So twelve fives are sixty. Seven fives are thirty-five ampere. That means the total amount of current through this circuit is thirty-five. Now we will find the value of I one, I two, I three by using the following formulas. Such as I one equals to V one upon V equal upon R one, I two equals to V upon R two, and I three equals to V with I one R three. So students, in next class we will discuss the new topic of electricity.